Hello and welcome back to Swift Goose. Today I wanted to show you what happens when you use Apple's photogrammetry framework with highly reflective surfaces like this hard drive platter or this glass of water. So here's how the hard drive platter came out. First thing you'll notice is that there is actually no hard drive platter. So basically the API just captured all the reflections from the platter and excluded the platter itself from the generated object. Also everything is reversed. So this green cup was actually on the right side this little pole was on the right side also, and my microphone is on the left side. The icon is also reversed. But it's pretty cool because this basically means that the API did its best to generate a 3D image of the room around me through the reflections of the hard drive platter. So if I actually rotate this image around, you'll see what the API tried to do. So it tried to fill in the gaps with the window fill in the gaps with the wood, fill in the gaps with the icon, and this little cup over here, and actually kind of change the perspective of the whole image so that it would make sense according to the reflections. So first let's go down the middle here, and you'll notice that the icon and the wood, actually, they do look pretty good. But let me scroll down here. The icon is basically a recession into the wood wall so is the incense cup as well. So we can go into this little hole and see that the API just made an indentation there. Now if we zoom out again, this little pole here that adjusts the angle of the window blinds, the API didn't know what to do and didn't make it a 3D object, it just made a giant indentation here. So we can go down this whole crack and see the window pole at the bottom. And then if also, if we go to the window blinds, you can see the bottom of them and see the warning label. You got the drawstring, you got the books on the bookshelves, the grain of wood. Didn't do a great job with the mic because you can see that that generated an extra layer of purple band here and some other extra metal that wasn't actually part of the mic. So here's how the glass of water turned out. Uh, the API seems to get confused especially with some of the shadows and lighting around the bottom. Also, you notice that it did get the water line, but when you go to the top of the water, it incorrectly put it on the very top of the cup. So let me zoom in a little bit more and show you what that looks like. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.